you. Anyway. Nice to have you I on our show. I usually sit on his face. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, we saw you to a wife swap. We saw you were brilliant on that. Thank Absolute you. brilliant. Did you guys see that, wife swap? And didn't it just make you see that there's so many... Like, these guys have got such good hearts from what we saw on that show. And doesn't it make you see that, you know, you need people like that in this world? Because someone like Peter to change Razor's way of thinking after so many years when he didn't and all of a sudden pete was able to do it that says something that's so brilliant that was absolutely brilliant but it's like what we said we're the new face of normal <laughs> <laughs> what is we normal? think we are anyway absolutely there well, you yeah, exactly exactly i yeah. mean people who look really normal underneath their business suits they got stock into suspenders and stuff like exactly. that exactly <laughs> and if you've got of... abs you're abnormal the yeah, heart bum bum <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Yeah, there's now a lot of cranks out there. Harder. At least at least our mental instability is all on the outside <laughs> and it comes off a cleanser. Well, we think we're great. And you've got Pete Burns PA airing on TV at yeah. the moment. Let's have a look at a clip of this, if you don't mind. These are your teams for the week, and your challenge is to arrange two fabulous dates for Michael and me. I want these dates to be original, fun, memorable, and romantic. Okay. That's crap. Is yeah. it sad? It's not it. Is it for the bedroom or is it for the, the kitchen? While Peter and Michael explore, the team decide to buy some extra special gifts. And he wanted you to have that goodie bag and he paid for it himself. All the sax aids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have to say, that is real determination. He wants this so badly, he wants to change his life, turn everything around. But and you didn't get a job to... just because you bought me a bag full of dildos. boss do you think you'll be? Well, I, th I don't think I'm a difficult boss. I really don't think I'm a difficult boss. I mean, ultimately, a PA that works for me, they probably will never get to see me. We don't like people running around as an intruder in our life. You know, we won't yeah. let them in the door. We like to just, you know... Yes, we talk to them through a peephole. <laughs> we have a little bit of paper bit kinky. Yeah, yeah, through a peephole. is peephole underpants. I think everything but... with us seems... <laughs> Everything comes down to sex. They, they show one clip and there's a paddle. It's not all about sex. Yeah, but that's what it's like. If us, everyone thinks yeah. everything's always sex, but we can actually hold another conversation. Well, absolutely. It's not yeah, so we we're are just like fantastic about. after sex absolutely. last night. You know, we spoke. Hey. <laughs> now, you two recently just got married, so congratulations we did. on that. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you've, got a, you've got a bigger room than I have. Did you sell your pictures at all? Your... No, we don't. We no. don't. We didn't get involved in any of that. To be honest with you, nobody even approached us. And the whole concept of of having it on TV, we weren't really sure what we were letting ourselves in for. And on the day, it, we were in shock. I think people always expect, you know, if you're gay people, you get married. It's somehow not marriage. It's like a, a joke, or we did it because we were being filmed. We were doing it anyway. Yeah. But I think with the kind of more mainstream papers, they've still got that kind of weird thing about the whole gay bit. I think just because you're gay doesn't mean, you know, it's yeah, just absolutely. what you do in the bedroom. Marriage is marriage at the end and of the day. And love right? is love. And yeah. love is love, as we know. Now, lots of the viewers and the audience here know you from Big Brother. What made you do that? Money. Was that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, no, I, I'd been... I'd, my career just completely finished because I was in Italy having a lot of reconstructive surgery for a very, very serious condition. And I was stuck there for almost two years, having two or three operations a week, and they're still not over. I got an injectable solution, uh, and to, to be brutally frank, it nearly killed me. Whereabouts did I you have that? In the lips, but it went in the jaw, in the throat, it moved into the cheek, I had kidney failure, thrombosis everywhere. So it was a very serious medical condition, and people make a lot of jokes about it. Yeah. And I did a show last week, uh, The Weakest Link with Ad Robinson, and to be honest with you, it was the worst experience I've ever had, because you just kept making jokes about it, and I thought, you know what? That's unfair. I really want to punch you right in the face because you haven't got a you haven't got a clue what but i've been had through surgery anyway yeah but people think plastic surgery and reconstructive surgery are the same thing yeah. this was a life or death issue yeah. and it's still ongoing now later on in the show we're going to play a plastic surgery game now Do i get to have some well hopefully we both can i have in three weeks anyway what are you getting done tits Another pair. Smaller, more pair. Another pair. No, you're not, no extra. <laughs> because you're not getting them on the back, so you're just going more modest. Yeah. You also were a hairdresser, which I didn't know this. That was when I was like 15. That was, that, <laughs> yeah, but that was two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was when I was 15. It was in the early 70s that I was a did hairdresser. Did you leave? Did you get fired? I got fired. You got fired? <laughs> yeah. Now, what we did is we went on the internet and we found this UKHairdressers.com and there's apparently these alternatives to hair products, to shampoos, even if you haven't got water. So, I don't a mind doing a it. a wig. Yeah, a hat or a wig. <laughs> well, I don't mind doing it, but can you just come over with me? I don't mind. I don't mind. Can you take care of my ring? 
Would you take care of my room? I need to know what I'm saying. I was going to say to Keith, can you take care of my ring? But I thought he would have got a fence. I'm going to take care of one person's ring and he take care of mine. Right, that's fantastic. Okay, what are we going to do, Drowns? Right, no. This is what we're going to do, right? I need a volunteer, so can I have. I think it's Stacey Laurie. (laughs) Stacey, (laughs) hiya. Now, can you just take a seat, and if you don't mind leaning back. Which end are we washing? Ready? Don't worry. I'm Does just she doing know what you're going to do? No. If you use Coca-Cola, believe it or not, apparently it says here: pour a can of Coke, Sprite if you're a blonde, into a spray bottle. We won't bother doing that. With some water. We haven't got water at this stage, so mist it onto damp hair. This creates a very sexy texture. Or in our case, because there's no water, we'll just put it on. You've not mixed it with water. No, because so just she's in just case. Just going to look like someone who's in a flame bar. <laughs> I've done this to hundreds of people and it wasn't to give the hair a sexy attack. <laughs> Apparently, Just... that's what it does. But do you know what? If you pull this on your body, the Brazilians say it gives you a dark tan because of the caffeine attracts the sun. It's true, I've done it loads of times. Not that that's you can. you look white. Shut up, woman. Right, anyway, so let me just try this. Yeah, but apparently, uh, look, I don't know. You know, I can do say it. already that's a really sexy it's a stu- texture. Right, wait a second, wait a second. Now, if you're out and about. That's so sexy, I'm getting hard on. But I'm standing behind so Kate can't see. Yeah, so mine, the sink's going to hit the ceiling. Oh, that is so wait a, second, wait a second, let's just do something here. Let's just do something. Have you been a hairdresser? Let's do it. Mind on makeup. Let's please. do an Andre, an Andre little curl, or, or even, a, even a Jackson, right? I saw Jackson. I saw oh, him I there. love him. I love Jackson. Right, ready? <laughs> anyway, I reckon well, apparently this works. I don't really think it did work. Can you sit up for a sec here? Put that on there. Do you think sexier or not really? <laughs> Stop doing coke, darling. Right, thank you very much. <laughs> See you later. Okay, where's Kaylee Greenacre? Kaylee Greenacre. Hi, Kaylee. Right. Kaylee, how are you, Pete? Hi, nice nice to, meet to meet you and Pete. Hi, hon. Oh, you can't do this to her. No, wait a second. This one's interesting. Pete, <laughs> oh, that one's do all you right. want to read that? Is that all right? That one's all right. This one makes more sense than all of them. Talcum powder. It gets rid of grease in the hair, but she's going to look like Granny. Yeah. Okay, so apparently you just pour this on, right? And what does it do? You lightly spread it on the hair. Gets rid of the grease. Hair, gets rid of the grease. Okay. Okay, well, this it's I can greasy. understand. Yeah, it's a bit greasy. <laughs> no, no, I don't mean it like that, but it is. <laughs> All right. All right, let me just do this for a sec. <laughs> the only thing I don't understand is about the dandruff of, like, how it runs like that. Sorry, darling. At least you're going to smell like a nice baby's ass. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, can you sit up for a sec? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. If she had time to brush that out and put some silicone shine product on, it might look okay. Yeah, it might do. Well, you were the hairdresser, so. Gee, you don't brush it's hair. It's very like Marie that. Antoinette. Oh, well, I don't know how to brush bloody hair, Kate. I don't do hey, yours. You wear your extensions. Hurter. Right. Listen, you know what? I'm so sorry, darling, but just enjoy the rest of the show, and I- I'm really sorry. That's what it was told. I don't know. I never tried it. Right. Thanks a lot, ladies and gentlemen. And I just want to say thanks to Pete Burns for being a fantastic sport and to Michael Simpson. Thank you very much. Pete, you've been far too busy to be worrying about this show, haven't you? I'm much bigger than that's disgusting. You've got those. Ridiculous. Huh? You've got those. Well, you worried though, didn't it? <laughs> Was that it, those? Kate? No, do you know what? I saw these and I had to take a second look. And then I looked at that bit and I thought, Pete's definitely smaller. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show, Lee. We're going to be chatting to you in a minute. And please welcome back Mr. Louis Walsh. <laughs> now, you three are going to be tonight's Tats Factor judges. So let's have a reminder of who's on the board so far. And because of popular demand, I'm going to bring back my Dr. Evil voice. <laughs> Wait. OK. So after four weeks, down three places, what a bummer for Jay's bum eyes. <laughs> He's boldly going nowhere at number five. No movement for Kevin's Star Trek. At number four, it's another non-mover for Sam's Christmas story. 
She's got two men on her back, lucky bitch. It's a new entry at three for Julie's duo, Ozzy and Dallas. More rock legends at number two with Paul status quo. And for the second week running, it's the Great Dane with a fried English breakfast on his head. Give me a frickin' break, it's getting ridiculous. How you doing, Brian? Nice to meet you. Nervous? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, girls, would you like to see what Brian's got? Yeah. 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 Get your tats out! Yay! Yeah. Tats out! Tats out! So obviously we know that's Elvis. Is this the Cadillac he bought for his mum? It is, yeah. Yeah, fantastic. You could turn it's around, Brian. We don't have to talk to your back. <laughs> All the best with that. A round of applause for Brian. I hope you do well tonight. Here we go. Hey, young Jamie. Nice to meet you, Jamie. You don't look like the type either to have a tattoo. Ah, uh, well. Oh, I wonder where you've got it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's have a look. Get your tattoo. <laughs> Um, yeah. Explain. Is Shrek kind of your personality? Is that why? I could you... say I'm the lovable ogre, yes. Nothing to do with Aww. looking like or. What are you trying to say? Well, no, me? I'm just saying, like, well, you know, you're obviously. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Did it no. It didn't hurt. No, three and a half hours. Jamie, I hope you do well. Thank you very much. Tonight's challenge. Very cold. Yeah. Yeah. So you get cold. Whoa. I've just seen Hello. something. Hello, people. Louis, you'll be impressed with this. <laughs> All I'm right. <laughs> well, don't keep us waiting. I think you should get your tats out. Louis, take that. Good. Uh, I'm joking. So, okay, so it's Westlock. What are you writing? Where's Brian? Yeah, where's Brian? Where is Brian? Brian? Uh, yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, she didn't put Brian on this one. Why didn't you, why you could turn back round again now. Why didn't you put Brian on? Well, when I was in the middle of having it then, Brian decided to uh, bug it off, so I saved myself 85 quid. <laughs> is, is that how much it cost? Huh? It was 85 for each or 85 for yeah. oh, oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Now. Oh, well, I hope oh, you okay. do well, Beth. Thank Round of applause for Beth. Yeah. Okay, so judges, please show me the one tattoo that you want to go on the leaderboard. It's Westlife. <laughs> Which position would you like them in? I'll put Westlife at the top. That means that our new number one is Westlife by the Now, if you have a tattoo or know someone who does, just email a photo and your contact number to Katie and Peter at ITV.com. Thanks. Young Wife and Lee Ryan. Hey, can I just ask one question? Because yeah. you like both, who do you fancy, me or Pink? No, yeah, that's some. Hey. <laughs> well, she's gorgeous, isn't she? In tonight's head to head, Katie and Peter will have to know their surgery. Okay. They will meet people who have all gone under the surgeon's knife and they will have to guess what they have all had done. Peter and Katie, on your board you have various cosmetic procedures to choose from for each person. I will award points for correct guesses and the person with the most points at the end of the game wins. Happy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> OK, happy. Katie and Peter, please take your positions by the board over there. And just to warn you, there are a couple of red herrings. Ooh. So, let's meet our first person, please. <laughs> This... No, I mean, OK, is in OK? OK. Shut up. Yeah. This is Joanne. Peter and Katie, 
I can tell you she's had one piece of work done, and you have 10 mm. seconds to choose the procedure from your board. Okay, your time starts now. I'm going to go straight away, straight away. <laughs> time's up, time's up. OK, there are your suggestions. Joanne, can you please spill and tell me and them what you had done? I just had my nose done. Ah! Just Miserably. The That's just the beginning. OK, you can leave. On to the next person. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, this is John. Peter and Katie, I can tell you he's had three pieces of work done. This time you get 20 whole seconds to choose the procedures from the board. Your time starts now. Okay, there's your suggestions. John, please tell us exactly what you had done. Definitely I've had a nose job, dental I... veneers, and a chin implant. Okay, that's good. Can we please welcome hey, the next person? Oh. I'm joking, is This it? is Leah. Can you, can you shut your hole? Can you shut your hole? Sorry. Shut your hole. This is Leah. I can tell you she's had six but pieces of back. work I'm done. Not, I'm thinking. You've okay. got 40 seconds to choose the procedures from your board. Your time starts now. Right. Um. It's gone. <laughs> OK. Can you reveal your time's up? Sorry. There's your suggestions. Leah, can you please tell us everything you've had done and don't hold the horses? Everything. Everything. Uh, Botox? Yeah. Eyelids? Yep. Nose? Yep. Facelift? Yep. Electrolysis? Yep. Adam's apple? Yep. And nothing below the waist? Uh, really? And, and, and else deepening of the voice. Yes. So you are a man in a woman? I'm a man. OK, brilliant. Wow. <laughs> That means after today's game, nobody got anything right. Mm. So there are no points and no winners. You both should be thoroughly ashamed of yourselves. Oh, that means the overall scores are still two to Peter and one yeah. to Katie. <laughs> Next week, we'll be doing another Katie and Peter challenge. Don't miss it. That's all we've got time for tonight. I hope you've enjoyed the show. Thanks to our guests, Lee Ryan. And the wonderful Pete Burns. We'll see you next Friday at 9 o'clock. The weekend's now over for business, so why don't you shop like Katie Holmes?